Polska Grupa Z Brojniawa has announced that a prototype of the new Polish infantry fighting vehicle, commonly known as Borsik Badger, has undergone a series of tests. The Borsik has already undergone several tests, including a live fire exercise in September 2020 at Drosko Pomorski training area, according to a company news release. Borsik, or to be precise, its first prototype was armed with the ZSSW 30 turret and set off to hunt in Drosko. We are not authorized to inform about the results of the checks and tests carried out at this stage, however, I can probably say that we are fully satisfied with the first results of our work. Both, Borsik, and ZSSW-30 are the best existing examples of how investments in national competences bring spectacular results, said Bartuome Zions, CEO of Huda Stoloa Wola SA. As noted by the company, the goal of this project is to develop a new infantry fighting vehicle IFV, that will act as the basic component of future battalion modules together with product documentation. Once completed, the new vehicle will have the tactical and technical parameters dictated by the conditions prevalent on modern battlefields, as well as state-of-the-art and advanced construction technology of the whole amphibious IFV. The Borsik will be capable of navigating water obstacles by floating, it will be highly maneuverable, and it will be capable of operating in various terrain and atmospheric conditions, with guaranteed appropriate level of ballistic and mine protection. The construction of the new IFV will make it possible to transport infantry teams as well as installation of basic firing systems with caliber 30-40mm cannon integrated with PPK. The ZSSW-30 turret, produced by utilizing the capabilities of the Polish industry, utilizes solutions developed domestically, including but not limited to the aiming and optical systems produced by PCO and the integrated launcher of the Spike anti-tank guided missiles, also produced in Poland. The new Borsik with the ZSSW-30 system is to replace the obsolete minus one Botswana Palos vehicles in the armed forces, and the ZSSW-30 system, integrated with an anti-tank guided missile launcher, will be implemented as an armament of the infantry fighting vehicles and wheeled armored personnel carriers of the land forces.